McDonald's McNuggets. Start with that chicken breast. Go ahead and cut it up into little cubes, and we're gonna blend it in batches, and we're gonna pulse it. You could use a grinder if you have one, but I don't have one. I'm guessing a lot of you don't have one. You could use a blender. Works just as good. Season the meat with a bunch of salt and pepper. And then the key to shaping your nuggets is to keep your hands wet so it doesn't stick to you. So you feel me? We made a few McDonald's shapes and, you know, we went off with some dinosaurs, made a country. And look at that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that went into the freezer for like two hours. For the dry mix, we're going to go flour, cornstarch, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Mix it up. For the wet batter, we're going to go eggs, half a cup of water, fourth cup of cornstarch, and whip that up. Then once your nuggets are hard, we're going to go dry, wet, dry, wet, and then leave on there. And then once you do that, you're going to heat up some oil once it bubbles around the, the stick, the wood, the chopstick, fuck. Throw them into the oil. Make sure they don't stick to each other. Fry them for about two minutes each side. Take them out, and you got chicken McNuggets. Yes, sir. Uh, Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Start with that chicken thigh, I mean breast, and cut it into inch thick cubes. You know, approximately. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now set it into a bowl and cover it in pickle juice. That's going to be our brine. Now for the dredge, we're going to use flour, cornstarch, panko breadcrumbs, a tablespoon of powdered sugar, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Egg wash is simple. A single leg, salt and pepper, whisk it. That's your egg wash. Then after at least 20 minutes, take the chicken out of the pickle juice and dry them. And then it goes egg wash, dredge, and repeat. Do that for all the pieces of chicken. Then get our oil ready. Fill it up about under halfway for the pan. And bring it up to heat. Check with the chopstick and throw them in. Remember, if the oil gets a little too crazy, you could always turn down the heat to bring it into control. Then get your paper towel line plate ready. After two or three minutes each side, the chicken's good. Plate it up. Serve it with some fries and you got Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Yes, uh... Chicken quesadilla. You already know, start with chicken thighs, pat them dry, cut them into inch thick pieces and season with taco seasoning and a little bit of olive oil. Then shred up some Monterey Jack cheese and some cheddar cheese. Bring a pan up to heat, add in the chicken. You're going to cook those for about five to eight minutes. Take it off the heat when it's done. Get a nice big 12 inch flour tortilla and put the cheese mix on, sour cream and some salsa. You could use homemade salsa, but this can of salsa was only two bucks, so that's what we running with. Put the chicken on, fold the top, bottom, and then the sides. And then into a pan, a different pan. Use a clean pan, not what I did. Put some butter in, let that melt, and then put the quesadilla on. We're going to do like three to four minutes each side until golden brown. On both sides. Cut it in half, and you got a chicken quesadilla. Yes, sir! Uh... Start with that chicken thigh, pat it dry. Get them all in a bowl. Season them all with Tabasco, cayenne, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Mix it up until it looks just like that. Two cups of flour, cayenne, paprika, cornstarch, salt, and pepper. Mix it up. That's the flour mix. Two eggs, buttermilk. You know, want to mix that up. Pour that over the chicken. Mix up the chicken. Get it in there and let it sit. Then coat the chicken very well in the flour. Spicy mayonnaise, mayonnaise, paprika, cayenne, Tabasco, simple, mix. Oil in, check that it's hot enough. Has to be hot enough, you wanna hear that noise. Chicken thigh, five to six minutes each side, golden brown, then flip. After that, take it out, just like that. Toasted brioche bun, spicy mayonnaise, both sides, pickles, that chicken, top it. Yes! Uh... Japanese fried chicken or chicken karage. Start that chicken thigh, you already know what's going on. Cut up into little slices. You want it to be like strips. That's how they look when you get at a restaurant. Throw into a bowl. Then into that bowl, this is going to be the marinade. Mix the garlic, ginger, soy sauce, and rice wine vinegar. Mix it up and let that sit. However much time you got is perfect. Then into a bowl goes a bunch of cornstarch. This is going to be the coating for the chicken. And this is the difference in Japanese fried chicken or karage. That's why it's so much crispier because it's only cornstarch. And when you set the chicken aside, you're going to want to avoid stacking like me and make one layer. And as always, I made a mess. And into your wok, pan, or whatever you have, do like an inch and a half of oil, maybe an inch. We're going to shallow fry these or whatever. And once it comes up to heat, check with the chopstick. If it bubbles around, it's ready. And they're done after about five to seven minutes or when they're golden brown. Take them out. I had to do two batches. Place it onto a paper towel line plate. Finish it with lemon. But could we appreciate this lighting real quick? God damn. Yes, sir. Chicken thighs, pat it dry both sides. Cut it into one inch thick pieces and season with salt and pepper. 
Dry mix is flour and cornstarch. Season with salt and pepper. Mix it up so there's no patches of cornstarch. Egg wash, egg, salt, pepper, whiskey. Looks like that. Chicken goes into the egg, coat it in flour. Don't miss any part of the chicken. Rinse and repeat for the rest of the chicken. Cut some garlic and ginger, green onion, zest of an orange, and the orange juice. Get the oil hot enough, check with the chopstick, put the chicken in. Two to four minutes each side max, or till golden brown. Take it out and strain the oil. Then go in with garlic, ginger, whites of a green onion, and chili flakes. Then add rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, green onion, zest of an orange, orange juice, a drizzle of sesame oil, and the cornstarch mix. Mix it up until it gets nice and thick like that. Add the chicken to the sauce, mix it up. So it's nice like that. Yes! Fettuccine uh. Alfredo. That sounded kind of good, but bring a pot of water to a rolling boil and then take four cloves of garlic, smash them, peel them, and mince it up. And then get half a stick of butter or four tablespoons. And you're gonna wanna heat up a pan. Make sure you turn on the right stove. And you're gonna want that to be on a medium, medium high heat and let that melt down for a little bit. Then add two tablespoons of olive oil and then add the garlic. Let that all melt together and add a cup of heavy cream. Mix that up. And then once the water becomes a rolling boil, salt it, add a large pinch of salt and then add about eight to 10 ounces of fettuccine. And then salt the cream with a little bit of salt and pepper. You wanna be able to part the Red Sea with it. You wanna see the bottom of the pan and then add two cups of grated Parmesan Mix that in there, it's gonna become hella thick with like four C's. And then add all the noodles you wanna bring some of that water in because the sauce is hella thick. So then you're gonna mix that up and the water is just gonna thin out the sauce. And that's it, really. Yes, uh. This one's for all my broke college students. I'm gonna teach you how to cook for the low. Pull up to the store, get a cup of noodles and a head of cabbage. Together, that should be no more than a dollar. And then slice it up into different sizes, you know. You want different textures, you wanna be fancy without actually being fancy. Fill up your cup of noodle with water and microwave it. Then to a pan on medium high heat, add a little bit of oil and add, add as much of the cabbage as you want. Cabbage is real cheap, so it don't really matter. So then add some soy sauce and some brown sugar and mix that up. That'll be like the stir fry kind of sauce. And what you're gonna want is have some cooked chicken thighs on deck. You want that in your fridge. You want to front all the work. You just want all this stuff ready to go whenever you want. And I add a little bit more cabbage because I needed more greens. And then you're gonna take only the noodles from the cup of noodles and incorporate that all into the stir fry. And now you got a well balanced meal for the low. You got some meat, greens, and noodles. What more could you ask for? Serve with some sriracha, or hoisin, or whatever, and you're good. And you got a side of soup. Yes, uh. Chicken thighs, pat it dry both sides, cut it into one inch thick pieces, and season with salt and pepper. Dry mix is flour and cornstarch. Season with salt and pepper. Mix it up so there's no patches of cornstarch. Egg wash, egg, salt, pepper, whiskey. Looks like that. Chicken goes into the egg, coat it in flour. Don't miss any part of the chicken. Rinse and repeat for the rest of the chicken. Cut some garlic and ginger, green onion, zest of an orange, and the orange juice. Get the oil hot enough, check with the chopstick, put the chicken in. Two to four minutes each side max, or till golden brown. Take it out and strain the oil. Then go in with garlic, ginger, whites of a green onion, and chili flakes. Then add rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, green onion, zest of an orange, orange juice, a drizzle of sesame oil, and the cornstarch mix. Mix it up until it gets nice and thick like that. Add the chicken to the sauce, mix it up. So it's nice like that. Yes! Uh.